So what is it you want me to say? I want you to uh, tell me about Granddaddy Richard Dick Sanders. You said Travis and Johnny needed to know that he was a tugboat captain, mm -hmm. so tell me about it. Yeah. All right, tell me about it. Daddy was a tugboat captain. And who did he work for? He worked for Pope, Mr. Pope, mm -hmm. Edgar Pope, and another one, I can't think of his name right now. Uh, and you said that he took uh, two boats over uh, he, by himself to Panama City? Yeah, he, uh, he, he would carry barges to Panama City by himself. He was the captain of the Audrey Sea mm -hmm. and uh, what was the other one? The Aldrey Sea and the Captain Alex. Alex? Mm, A L E X. A L E X. Uh, that was uh, it. Alex. 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 And what was the other name of the boat? Audrey Sea. Audrey Sea. And you said he took them over <clears throat> by himself, but you said one time that he had Sam Odom as a deckhand. But that was in Carabell, working out of, uh, what's that bridge up there? Where, uh, Pine Log? Yeah. Yeah. Where bringing logs out of there. Yeah, and they've dedicated that bridge at Pine Log to Sam Odom. Well, they should have had Daddy included in it, too, because, uh, he uh, all the uh, logs out of there. Yeah. He worked for Mr. Acre, Acre Pope and Frank Pope. Yeah. So. They're two different men. And he got hurt on a skidder. Uh huh. And they brought him home from the doctor with his head all bandaged up. Yeah. Because it throwed him off the skidder, could have killed him. And, uh, when I seen him with that on his head, I run and hid in the goat pen. Yeah. How old were you when that happened? How old was I? Yeah, when when that happened, you said you run and hid in the goat pen. Uh, you uh, must have been young. About, I think about six years old. Yeah. Might have been. Well, seeing somebody bandaged all up, no, I could see where it would be kind of scary. You didn't know how bad he was hurt. No. But you said that one time he was going to town and some uh, men in town said, Hey, Dick, come tell us one of your fibs. Yeah, well, yeah, one of your tales. One of your tales. Uh -huh. So what, what did uh, Granddaddy do? He told him he didn't have time, that he had to go and help to bury uh, old man Joe Odom, and he wasn't even dead. <laughs> so he had a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Maxine told me that she used to visit him. Uh, her and uh, Erlene would go visit him on the boat, and he would buy them a soda pop. And and to her, that was, you know, like really a big deal. And I was just being with him and getting a, a soda yeah. back then. Yeah. And they, he, and they enjoyed that. Yeah, he petted them. Yeah. He, he was a good granddaddy. Mm hmm is there any more you want to? He was, he was proud of his children and his grandchildren. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I remember one time when you was wanting to whip me, I run to him mm -hmm. for him to <laughs> rescue me from you. Mm -hmm. And he held me until you got, got there. <laughs> so you could <laughs> whip me. <laughs> 
I remember that. I thought he was going to help me, and he held me till you got there. But I probably needed it. <laughs> I don't remember that. I remember it. But I also remember one time he built me a, a swing out of a milk crate. And I thought <clears throat> in my mind that I was in the basket of a hot air balloon. I pretended to be in a hot air balloon. So I had to be in small because a, a milk crate ain't that very big. But I remember that. All right, well, that's our video for this morning.